Hey, what's going on, family? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're diving into something that I know a lot of you chosen ones out there can relate to. Have you ever noticed that you seem to attract the wildest, most unpredictable, or downright craziest people into your life? Yeah, you're not imagining it, and there's a reason for it. In this video, we're going to break it all down and help you understand why this happens. By the end of this video, you'll have some major insight into why you keep attracting these types of people and, more importantly, how to navigate it. Let's get into it. 1. Your energy is magnetic. Your energy is truly magnetic, and this goes far beyond what most people experience. As a chosen one, you naturally operate on a higher vibrational frequency. This means that you're in tune with your inner self, more aligned with your purpose, and often more connected to positive energy and light. People notice this about you, even if they can't fully understand it. It's like you have an invisible glow that others can sense, and it draws them in. You might have found that, without even trying, people gravitate toward you for advice, comfort, or just to be around your calming presence. It's like being a lighthouse in the midst of chaos. Those who are lost or struggling instinctively come toward you, hoping to find solace or clarity. But here's the thing. While your energy is magnetic, not everyone who's drawn to you has good intentions. Some people are attracted to your light for the wrong reasons. They may feel drawn to your positivity because it contrasts with the negativity or turmoil in their own lives, but rather than seeking to uplift themselves, they might attempt to latch onto your energy. They're looking for someone to absorb their chaos or pain without giving anything back. This is where things can get tricky. You see, your high vibration makes you stand out in a world where many people are operating from a lower frequency. They see your peace, your inner balance, and your happiness, and they want a part of it. But instead of putting in the work to raise their own vibration, some people may try to take advantage of your light. They might become energy vampires, draining you of your positivity in the process of trying to boost their own mood or circumstances. You may notice that after spending time with certain individuals, you feel tired or emotionally depleted. That's because these people are subconsciously feeding off your energy. So, while your energy is a beautiful and powerful force, it's important to recognize that not everyone who is attracted to it is coming from a healthy place. Be mindful of who you allow into your space and protect your energy from those who might seek to drain it rather than match it. Two, they see something in you. They don't understand. Have you ever been around someone who seems both fascinated and uncomfortable in your presence? It's almost as if they're drawn to you, but at the same time, they don't know how to act. This happens because, as a chosen one, you have something about you that others can sense, but don't fully understand. It's like an invisible force, your aura, your presence, that sets you apart from the crowd. People can't quite put their finger on what makes you so unique, and that mystery is intriguing to them. Whether it's your calm demeanor, your quiet confidence, or your ability to see the world from a different perspective, there's something about you that stands out. This can create a mix of curiosity and discomfort in people who are operating from a place of confusion or insecurity. They might feel drawn to you because they sense that you have a deeper understanding of life, or because they're hoping to find the clarity that they themselves are missing. When someone feels lost or is going through personal struggles, your sense of peace and purpose can be very attractive. They may not even realize it, but they're looking for answers. Answers they think you might have. However, not everyone who is curious about you is ready for what they find. When people get closer to you and start to see that your authenticity is real, that you're not just pretending to be calm, wise, or self-assured, it can make them uncomfortable. Why? because it forces them to confront their own insecurities. When they see that you're truly at peace with yourself, it might highlight areas in their own life where they are struggling to find that same balance. Instead of embracing the opportunity to learn from you, some people may react negatively. They might feel threatened or exposed by the contrast between your calmness and their inner turmoil. And in their discomfort, they could try to bring you down or undermine your confidence as a way to make themselves feel better. 
They may not understand what they're feeling, but they know that being around you stirs something inside of them that they aren't ready to face. Three, you reflect what they lack. One of the most challenging aspects of being a chosen one is that you often reflect back to people what they're lacking in themselves. When you're radiating positivity, peace, and self-assurance, others can't help but notice. And while some may be inspired by your energy, there are others who find themselves uncomfortable or even resentful. It's not because you've done anything wrong, but because your presence can act like a mirror, reflecting back to them the areas where they feel inadequate or unfulfilled. Imagine someone who's struggling with internal chaos, whether it's anxiety, low self-esteem, or unresolved emotional baggage. When they encounter someone like you, who seems calm, grounded, and aligned with your purpose, it can create a stark contrast between your peace and their turmoil. Instead of seeing your energy as something to aspire to, they might feel threatened by it. Your light, in a way, highlights the darkness or confusion in their own lives. And rather than working to elevate themselves, they may become envious or resentful of you. This reaction is often subconscious. People might not even realize that they're projecting their insecurities onto you. They just know that being around you makes them feel uncomfortable in some way. Your success, happiness, or even just your calm demeanor can remind them of what they don't have. It can stir up feelings of inadequacy, and instead of being motivated to make positive changes in their own lives, they may try to tear you down as a form of self-defense. This is why you might encounter people who seem friendly at first, but over time, they start to act differently. They might try to bring negativity into your life, make critical comments, or even distance themselves from you. It's important to understand that their reactions have little to do with you and everything to do with their own internal struggles. You're simply reflecting back to them what they wish they could achieve, but haven't yet figured out how to. In these situations, it's crucial to protect your energy and not take their behavior personally. Recognize that their response is more about their own journey than about anything you've done. Stay grounded in your own light, and don't let their negativity dim your brightness. 4. You're a challenge to their ego. When people who are driven by ego or insecurity encounter someone like you, someone grounded in their higher self, it can feel like a direct challenge to their sense of identity. Your calm, balanced nature, and the fact that you don't seek external validation contrasts sharply with the way they navigate the world. They often define themselves by external success, social approval, or material possessions, while you operate on a deeper, more spiritual level. This can make them feel uneasy, as though their way of being is somehow being questioned just by your presence. For those with fragile egos, your existence serves as a reminder that there's a different way to live, one that doesn't rely on superficial markers of success or constant validation from others. But instead of accepting or appreciating this, they may feel threatened. In their eyes, your peaceful, centered nature highlights the insecurities they're trying to mask with ego-driven behaviors. And rather than working to elevate themselves, some of these individuals will try to pull you down to their level. You might notice this when people seem to go out of their way to challenge you. They might push your buttons, test your patience, or create unnecessary drama just to see how you'll react. It's almost as if they want to prove that you're not as grounded, wise, or enlightened as you seem. They're looking for cracks in your calm exterior, hoping to find a weakness they can exploit. If they can get you to react, they feel validated. It reassures them that you're just like everyone else, that you're not as different or evolved as you appear to be. However, when they realize they can't rattle you, it frustrates them even more. Your ability to stay calm, composed, and above the chaos only intensifies their discomfort. They might lash out or continue to provoke you, but deep down, it's because they feel powerless in the face of your unshakable inner peace. This dynamic can be difficult to navigate, but it's important to remember that their attempts to challenge you are rooted in their own insecurities, not in anything you've done wrong. By remaining centered and true to yourself, you not only protect your energy, but you also serve as a living example of what it means to rise above ego and live authentically. 
While they may not understand it now, your example might be the spark that leads them to eventually question their own ego-driven behaviors and seek a more genuine, fulfilling path. Five, your kindness gets misinterpreted. As a chosen one, you naturally extend kindness and compassion to others. You tend to see the best in people and believe in giving them the benefit of the doubt. Your empathetic nature allows you to understand others' struggles and you genuinely want to help those in need. However, this kind-hearted approach is often misunderstood or even misused by the wrong people. Some individuals, especially those with manipulative tendencies or chaotic energy, may mistake your kindness for weakness. It's not uncommon for these people to come into your life acting as though they value your generosity and positive energy. Initially, they might seem to appreciate your willingness to help, your open-mindedness, and your supportive nature. But once they realize that they can't control or manipulate you, their true intentions start to surface. For people who operate with hidden agendas or who thrive in negativity, your kindness can seem like something to exploit. They might see your good nature as a chance to manipulate you for their benefit, thinking you'll always turn the other cheek or be too nice to stand up for yourself. The problem lies not with your kindness, but with their perception. Some people project their own issues and insecurities onto others. They assume that because you're kind, you must be naive or easy to take advantage of. But as soon as they realize you're not someone who can be easily fooled, that's when their demeanor shifts. Suddenly, the very thing they seem to appreciate, your compassion, your willingness to help, becomes something they resent. They might even lash out, trying to paint you as the problem or make you feel guilty for their own behavior. It's important to understand that when people take your kindness for granted, it's a reflection of their own issues, not of you or your actions. It's not a weakness to be kind, but rather a strength. Not everyone is capable of extending genuine compassion, and for some, that's threatening. When you encounter these individuals, it's crucial to protect your energy and remember that their reactions are more about their own inability to process your goodness than about anything you've done wrong. You can continue to be kind, but with the wisdom to recognize when it's time to set boundaries and protect your peace. Six, you're a source of healing, whether you know it or not. As a chosen one, you radiate a natural healing energy, whether you're aware of it or not, just by being yourself, calm, balanced, and in tune with your higher self, you create a sense of peace that others find soothing. For people who are struggling with emotional turmoil, inner conflict, or even unresolved trauma, being around someone like you feels like a breath of fresh air. They might not be able to put it into words, but they are instinctively drawn to your presence because it offers them a sense of relief or comfort, even if only temporarily. It's important to understand that in many cases, these people don't consciously realize why they're drawn to you. They might simply feel better when they're around you. Your energy can help calm their chaos, and they may find themselves wanting to spend more time with you because of that. But here's where things can get complicated. While your presence may offer temporary comfort, true healing requires much more than just being near someone who radiates positive energy. Some individuals may try to latch onto you, hoping that your light will fix the darkness they're facing they might start to rely on your energy, seeking constant validation or support from you in hopes that it will heal their pain. However, as much as you want to help, you can't be responsible for someone else's healing. Healing is an internal process, one that each person has to go through on their own. You can guide them, offer advice, or simply be a kind presence in their life, but you can't do the work for them. This is where setting boundaries becomes essential. While it's beautiful that you have the ability to make others feel at ease, you need to be careful not to drain yourself in the process. It's easy to give and give, especially when you see someone in pain, but your energy is precious and it needs to be protected. Be mindful of how much you're giving and remember that it's okay to step back when you need to. Helping others is admirable, but it should never come at the cost of your own well-being. Ultimately, you can be a source of healing for others but the most important thing is to ensure that you're not sacrificing your own peace in the process. Remain compassionate, but always prioritize your own emotional and spiritual health.
7. Your light exposes their darkness. As a chosen one, your light does more than just attract people. It also has the power to reveal the darkness that others may be trying to hide. When someone who has been living in denial, hiding behind a facade of lies, insecurities, or negativity encounters someone as authentic as you, it becomes an uncomfortable experience for them. Your very presence can act like a mirror, forcing them to see parts of themselves they've been avoiding. And not everyone is prepared for that level of self-reflection. The reason your light can make others uncomfortable is because it highlights areas of their lives where they've been dishonest, both with themselves and with others. Your genuineness and self-assuredness stand in stark contrast to their insecurities or hidden struggles. This can make them feel exposed, like their mask is slipping, and they may not be ready to face that truth. Instead of seeing your light as something inspiring, they may see it as a threat to their carefully constructed image. In response to this discomfort, some people might lash out. Rather than taking responsibility for their own growth, they'll try to bring you down. They might spread rumors, create drama, or try to tarnish your reputation, all in an effort to shift attention away from their own flaws. It's a defense mechanism, a way for them to avoid confronting their own darkness by projecting negativity onto you. But here's the thing. Their reaction has nothing to do with you and everything to do with their inability to face their own inner struggles. You might find yourself in situations where you're being blamed or attacked for things that have nothing to do with you. These individuals are simply trying to dim your light because it shines too brightly on the things they don't want to see in themselves. The key is to recognize that this is not your battle to fight. You can't control how others react to your authenticity. What you can do is remain true to yourself, stay grounded, and not let their negativity pull you down. Their discomfort is a sign that your light is doing exactly what it's meant to do, bringing truth to the surface. And while it might not always be easy to deal with their reactions, remember that this is part of your journey as a chosen one. Stay strong, keep shining, and let them handle their own darkness. So, there you have it, chosen ones. I know it can be tough dealing with all these different energies and personalities, but just remember, your light is powerful. You're attracting these people because you have something special, something that resonates on a deeper level. It's essential to stay true to yourself, keep shining, and never let anyone dim your light. I want to hear from you. If you've experienced these challenges in your own life, please share your stories in the comments below. Your experiences could inspire someone else who might be going through the same thing. Remember, we're all in this together, supporting one another on our journey. And as always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your support makes a huge difference. Subscribe to our Balanced Journey channel for more uplifting content that resonates with your spirit. Sharing this video with someone who needs to hear these messages can truly make an impact, so please spread the love. Together, we can create a community that uplifts and empowers one another. Until next time, stay blessed. Peace.